Welcome to Insylvania. I'm vlogging my custom home build journey and sharing tips and tricks for new custom home builders. Today's video is about the cool custom features we've added in our home. And towards the end of the video, I'll share a few more extra custom features that we're not able to add into our home, but I think are really cool and I wish we would have added. The first cool features we're starting with are in the kitchen. I mean, the kitchen is the heart of the home. We all spend the most times in our kitchen and I guess having a super cool kitchen was a huge reason as to why we decided to custom build. So here's a list of all the cool features we're adding in our kitchen. The main things that I'm excited for in our kitchen are our 12 foot island. We have a 45 inch cola stages sink. We have cola carbon faucets. Now cola recently discontinued these faucets, but I think they're so cool. So I'm adding them double dish washers. And of course, we're going to talk about appliances in a whole other section. And then our custom cabinetry. Now we only did custom cabinets in three rooms in the house because they're so expensive, but we wanted customized storage. And then I am also excited for a breakfast zone in in the kitchen. I think it's going to be so cool. Of course, the appliances in that part, but just having like a space specific for just breakfast. Another thing I'm super excited for in our custom home is our pantry or call it a scullery. It's huge. It's about eight and a half feet wide by about 16 feet tall. So that's pretty big for a pantry to have a sink and appliances and a whole lot of storage. So I'm so excited for that. Now let's get into the appliances. I have a whole list here that I don't even want to forget about, but the top, top things that I'm super excited for, our appliances are one in the kitchen. We're of course doing the Wolf and Sub-Zero appliances and Cove. We have double dishwashers in the kitchen. They're both Cove. We have a 60 inch range and we have 72 inch fridge and freezer sub-zero. Now, going from that, we added a vacuum seal drawer. It's a wolf vacuum seal drawer. I think it is so cool. I'll try to add a picture here, but you can vacuum seal your house. I mean, you can vacuum seal your food. So this is part of why you I build custom to add these things, because you're, you're not just gonna buy a house, I'll just have a vacuum seal drawer in it. So I'm so excited. We always make a lot of food and we batch sometimes, so it will be nice to like make a batch of cookie dough or whatever and then vacuum seal it and put it in the freezer. Another thing I'm excited for is our Miller built-in coffee maker with a warming cup drawer. Now the coffee maker is all cool, but the warming cup drawer, I mean, the best thing you want to do is make your coffee and then have a warm cup to have that coffee in. So I'm so excited about that. We have two warming drawers. We are doing one right by the range in the kitchen. And then we'll have another warming drawer in the outdoor kitchen. Because again, if you're grilling steaks and stuff and some are done and some are not, you can put it in the warming drawer and it's not going to overcome cook. So I'm excited about having the warming drawers and then we get into the other refrigerators that we're doing. We're doing all different types of refrigerators. In the pantry, we did the Samsung Flex refrigerator. It doesn't have any handles, so it kind of just sits flush with the cabinets. So I'm excited for that. And I think I showed it in this appliance video, so you can go watch some of the appliances we're getting in that video. And then we're getting the LG Craft Ice. Now, I had a true refrigerator in our basement, like a bar refrigerator refrigerator and I found this LG Craft Ice refrigerator and I want that Craft Ice so much that I switched out from a true, a super cool uh, refrigerator and I went with an LG just because it makes Craft Ice. So <laughs> I think that would be so cool for the bar. Uh, just imagine having like a big bowl of ice. I think that would be super cool. And then in our laundry room, we're adding the LG Styler. I found this very last minute. I thought it was so cool to be able to steam your clothes. So we're doing the LG Styler in the laundry room. And last but not least is our Scotsman Nugget Ice. So we're doing two different types of ice machines. We're having the Nugget Ice in the pantry, and then we have a true regular ice cubes in the outdoor kitchen and then we went back to the nugget ice in the pool house kitchen. Now we're going to the dining room. I'm so excited to have built-ins in our dining room. We'll have a space for like kind of like a buffet area and then on the walls we're gonna have 
sub-zero wine columns. I am so excited for that space. I think it's going to look so pretty. I'm gonna leave a rendering so you guys can see it. I think it is so beautiful. And if you wanna see any of these appliances or any of these things I'm talking about, I share pictures on my Instagram and Facebook. So make sure you go follow me there. Let's get into the bathroom. My master bathroom is my husband's favorite room in the house. It is huge and it's going to be so beautiful. And we did double toilet rooms because I am so done falling into the toilet in the middle of the night because my husband left the seat up. So one of the must-haves when we were ready to design our custom home was separate toilet rooms. So we're gonna have a his and hers toilet room and to make it even better is we're doing total toilets in there. They're like the best toilets ever, like the best thing to ever happen to toilets. So we're doing total toilets in there. We have heated floors in our master bathroom. We're doing, I am doing a freestanding air bathtub that I'm so excited about. We're doing a full steam shower. Our shower is a decent sized shower. It's about eight feet long by maybe five feet wide or four and a half feet wide. So it's like a decent sized shower. And then we're doing towel warmers. So I'm gonna link, uh, add pictures in here. We have the option of doing um, warming drawers for towels in our bathroom. But when I thought about it is if you go and it's your towel off and that towel is wet, you're gonna have to dry it and then or wash it and then fold it and put it into the warming drawer. So instead of doing a warming drawer, I just did regular towel warmers. So towel off, put it on the towel warmer. It will dry, but stay warm. So when you get out of the shower and the towel is already warm and you just wrap yourself in like a warm towel, it's like the best feeling ever. So I'm excited about those towel warmers. And then we're doing eight foot backlit vanity mirrors. So we have his and hers vanities that are each eight feet wide. We're gonna do backlit mirrors. I'm so excited for those. We had to get them custom made. So that would be super cool. But also in our vanities, we added trash cans because you know, when you're getting ready or you open a new toothpaste or you clean your ears or whatever, taking off makeup, we wanted to add trash cans. So you just have it right by the vanity and they're pretty big. And then we also did drawers that are gonna have electric in there so that we're able to charge our uh, toothbrushes and my husband's shaver and stuff like that. So that would be nice having trash cans in the vanities as well as hampers. Most of the times I undress in my bathroom. So having a hamper in our vanity will be good. So take off clothes instead of putting them on the floor, just put them in the hamper. So when you're designing a custom home, one of the things you need to think about is the foyer. Like when you walk into the foyer, it's going to set the tone for the entire house. I'm so excited about our foyer. When you walk into our door, you're going to see all the way through to the back. So it's about 10 and a half feet wide by like 50 feet long. So it's a huge foyer and it's going to look so amazing. We have this huge, beautiful chandelier from Restoration Hardware. But the cool part about that chandelier is it's going to be on a chandelier lift. So when it gets dusty, we can just press the switch it lowers the chandelier down so we can dust it and clean it. So that's one of the things I'm super excited for in our foyer. And of course, we're doing a marble insert when you walk into the foyer. So there will just be like a square insert there and it's gonna be heated as well. Laundry room. Now I've shared in another video before that I regret going with a smaller laundry room. However, what I'm excited for in regards to laundry is that we did laundry machines on each floor of the house and in the pool house. So our laundry room will have two sets of washers and dryer in the main laundry room upstairs. We have a set on the main floor, we'll have a set in the basement and a set in the pool house. But also what I did is in the laundry or each floor, I added a cleaning cabinet. So a place to keep all the cleaning supplies. I didn't wanna go up and down floors with cleaning supplies. So we have a closet on each floor to house all the cleaning supplies. If you're enjoying this video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out to more people that will enjoy them. 
One of the greatest things about building a custom home is really customizing things that you like. So for example, now outdoor, we added two outdoor kitchens, like a full kitchen right off of the kitchen, our main kitchen on the patio on the house, so we can use it all year round. I like grilling. It doesn't matter if it's snowing outside, if the grill is close to the house, I'm gonna go out and grill. And then we did another simpler, smaller kitchen in the pool house and the cool the coolest part about that is it's going to have our pizza ovens. These are almost like commercial pizza ovens. I'm so excited for them. And what I was thinking for that was pool and pizza parties. So we put the pizza ovens in the pool house so we can really enjoy those pool and pizza parties. And then of course we have an ice machine and fridge doors out there. And then we're gonna have a fireplace, beautiful chandeliers. So the pool house is all going to look so, so cool. And then on top of that, we have about at least 5,000 square feet of patio space. So we have about 4,000 around the pool. And then from the pool to get to the part where the pool is, is like another minimum a thousand, anywhere between a thousand to 6,000. So we're gonna have a lot of patio space. And I want to do a lot of patio space because like we like entertaining and we love being outside. And even with having a pool, if you think about it, you only spend such a little amount of time inside the pool and you end up spending most of your time outside the pool on the patio, walking around, on having a party. So I wanted to have a lot of patio space. But also one of the coolest things in the outdoor kitchen that is right next to the house is we're gonna have this 10 foot island that is going to have a trough in the middle. It's like a sink in the middle of the island and I plan on just putting ice in there and putting drinks in there. I saw it on a YouTube video and I thought it was the coolest thing so I had to add this into my house. I think that would be so cool. And of also I'm excited about having a courtyard we recently changed our plans and added an additional garage. So now we have an eight car garage that creates a courtyard, which I think is going to be so pretty. So as we're still on the outdoor area, we're gonna have a long-ish driveway. Our driveway is about 500 feet long and we're going to have it be heated. So I'm super excited. And of course I would have liked for it to be longer if it didn't cost an arm and a leg. But yeah, in terms of the outdoors, that's everything that I'm excited for on our outdoors. If you have pets and you're designing a custom home, think about where your pets are going to sleep, where they're going to eat. So one of the rooms I'm excited for in the house is our dog, Tux. He's going to pretty much have like a Tux room. He has like a little closet of the mudroom that is going to have like his sleeping area. And then it's gonna have his food area that will have a pot filler. So you can, we're not carrying water to fill it. So have a pot filler for the water. We're gonna have a drawer that will cost, uh, house all of his food and of course a place for him to sleep. Then on the other side in the garage near where his room is gonna be we're gonna have a doggy shower there that I'm so excited and I'm trying to figure out how I can add a dryer in it where after we wash him we can just dry him off and he comes out and he's all clean, goes in the house and goes into his little room area. Let's talk about some other cool custom features that we added in the house that don't really have like a particular section to put them in. So I'm gonna be reading off of this so that I don't forget. I am so happy that we did 10 foot ceilings in the basement, even though I wish they would have been longer, but it is, I don't know, I'm happy that at least they're 10 foot. We're doing an elevator because we want to age in place and I'm going to be doing another video probably next week on how to research elevators, why we did an elevator and what we chose. So look out for that next week. And then we're doing a media cabinet on each floor. Now this is something I'm incredibly excited about because I hate when you see like wires, cable wires. So we're gonna have a media cabinet on each floor and we're gonna run all our TV wires wires in the walls and they'll go in that media cabinet. So you can always open it if you need to do something, but it's gonna be off and you just see like a wall and a TV and no wires at all. So excited for that. We did linear drains in the garage. I think there are they look amazing. I'm so happy that we did linear drains. And again, this is why you build a custom home to make these little changes, these little things that will look better, that you like better, but also will make your home feel custom. So it's something small, but I'm so excited and I love our linear drains. And then we are doing the most beautiful doorknobs. 
ever. They're so pretty. And again, going back to customizing your house, then you have the option of picking like the right doorknobs. Instead of like, you won't even think about it. Oh, it's just a doorknob. But if you make it pretty, then anytime you touch it, you're going to feel it and you're going to just enjoy it that much more. We are doing a get house and we have a 500 foot driveway. So we wanted to have like a little place for the kids to sit while they're waiting for the bus out of the elements. So that's something that I'm excited for for our kids. And then we're also adding a built-in safe so we can keep all my husband's hunting guns and all the other things in there away from the kids. And of course, one of the things that we're buying that I'm excited for is this little bartender thing. I think it's so cool. And anyone who doesn't need to be building at home, you can get one of these things. I think they're super cool. Let's get into the fun stuff. We're doing a 16 seater home theater. I'm so excited for it. We're a family of six. We always have people over. So we did 16 seats in our movie theater. And then also, so on the outside, we have a space that's going to be a concession area. Now, I shared in this video on how I grew up, I used to sell popcorn. So popcorn is something that's dear to my heart. So the first thing going into our concession stand area is going to be a popcorn machine that looks exactly like the first popcorn machine I had. So, so excited for that. And then we're going to add, of course, other cool features. Another fun feature is we're adding an arcade game room. So we have this huge room and we're going to put arcade games in there. I'm so excited for that. We do enjoy arcade games. My kids love arcade games and I know they're just going to love them even more as they grow. So, and it's also fun because like with the basketball hoop one, you can go and just play competitive shots and it's something where the kids can get exercise, but it's also fun. So I'm excited for the arcade game room. And then in the additional garage, we just added we're putting a golf simulator for my husband he loves playing golf and I was thinking I looked at the house and he let me make all the decisions but I wanted him to have a place that was just his so we wanted to add extra garages and one of them we're going to use it so he can have his own golf simulator that is just his now here are a few of my favorite custom home things that we did not add because either they cost too much or we just did not have space and we did not want to make the house bigger. The very first thing is adding a chef's kitchen. Did I say chef? Chef. Okay, adding a chef's kitchen because if you enjoy entertaining like us, and I'm going to say most people that are building custom homes are people that like, you know, you love entertaining and you love having people. And so that's why you try to customize things so it can fit your lifestyle. So adding a chef's kitchen would be amazing. I wish we would have added it, but we didn't have enough space. And then we just didn't want to make the house bigger. So I wish I would have added that. We're also adding a wine cellar. We're not adding a wine cellar. We just did wine columns in our dining room like I showed you earlier and then a secret room I always think it is so cool if you go into a house that just has a secret room that you don't know about like you go through maybe like a library and you go into this super cool room in the back I don't know I always feel like one of the things that make a home custom is adding one of those like little extra features that you won't find in a regular house so we didn't add a secret room or I may just say maybe our secret room will be the elevator but it doesn't really count but yeah so if you're designing and you have the space and the budget adding just just like a secret room that that no one knows about would be so cool and of course adding a sauna I wanted to add a sauna my husband was like absolutely not <laughs> so I was like okay but I wish I would have added a sauna I think it is so cool and of course a gym now we have a little bit of space we could put a gym but we never really designed the house to be like okay this is going to be a gym so those are some of the few favorites that I've seen in other custom homes that I like but we did not add in our house let me know what cool feature that he you've seen in a custom home that I don't know about or I haven't talked about like let me know in the comments because it's fun and we can all share our journeys and people always read through these comments so someone could be building a house and you may give them a pretty amazing idea so leave those down in the comments I've enjoyed making this video on my Instagram at in Sylvania I always do Q&A's and one of the top questions I always get asked is what are the cool features you added in your home? So I've made this full video of all these cool features, all the things that I'm so excited about adding into our custom home. So I hope you guys like it. And if you do, please subscribe. And of course, go follow me on Instagram and Facebook. 
I will see you next week. Thank you for watching.